Some people are like really afraid to ask for like a second snack. And we can do that. Oh my gosh, can I get another cookie? Yeah, sure. I <laughs> Sometimes I tell people I'll charge them extra or I'll tell them. Oh, you're a funny they, flight attendant. <laughs> or if they say, can I get two snacks? I'm like, yeah. And then the next person asks for a snack. I go, oh no, sorry, she took yours. Gotta feel your crowd out though a little bit. Sometimes <laughs> people don't think it's funny. Hey guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. I've been traveling full time since 2015. And this Wednesday, I have Callie. We are in Minnesota and Callie is my flight attendant friend. Say who you are and what you're uh, doing. My name is Callie. I met Shayla a couple years ago. We both had just finished yoga teacher training. Became like yoga BFFs. Yeah. And now I just started my job as a flight attendant this past summer. I'm not gonna say with who. With a major airline. With a major airline. Oh. On Instagram the other day, I asked two questions. I asked what you wanted to know from a flight attendant and I asked if you are a flight attendant, what's something that you think is annoying or that should be said? The majority of the stuff that I got was how do I get an upgrade? What is it like to be a flight attendant? And what's like the most annoying things that people do? Should we just get started? Let's do it. All of our questions are over here. I feel like the question that I wanted to ask from the start was, what's the most annoying thing that a passenger can do? <sighs> There's a couple things. I believe you. When the flight attendant is at your aisle, just take your headphones out. What? I cannot tell you how many times. What do you want to drink? Huh? What do you want? Huh? What? What do you want to drink? Oh, a Coke. Okay, what do you want for your snack? Huh? What if I don't want anything? Take your headphones out and tell me. <laughs> Don't hold out trash for me when I'm like 10 aisles away. I, I will tell you, I promise. Somebody wrote that they were a flight attendant and don't take your shoes off. I mean, I agreed with it and Shayla's like, I take my shoes off all the time. I do, I do take my shoes off. And I've seen someone go to the bathroom in their bare feet. <gasps> no! How sanitary would you say a plane is? <sighs> I think planes are kind of gross. They clean them in between every flight, but that's more of like a pickup. That's like when we clean our houses. And we just pick them up. Yeah, but it's not clean yet. <laughs> and I think someone asked you like if they sanitize the tray tables. Yeah. No. What I do, I don't. I'm not like one of those people that like wipes everything down. I don't like want to get my face or like think, like I just put the pillow or the blanket up to my face. What do you do with those blankets and pillows afterwards? If they're still wrapped up, they just stay on the plane. If not, the cleaners take them. I'm not really sure entirely what happens to them. Do you recycle the cups and stuff? It's kind of up to the flight attendant on the plane. We do have separate recycling and garbage bags. Someone wanted to know if there was any secrets that passengers don't know about that they can get away with? Like, not really. Some people are like really afraid to ask for like a second snack. Mm. And we can do that. Oh my gosh, can I get another cookie? Yeah, sure, I <laughs> Oh, sometimes I tell people I'll charge them extra or I'll tell them. Oh, you're a funny they, flight attendant. <laughs> or if they say, can I get two snacks? I'm like, yeah. And then the next person asks for a snack. I go, oh no, sorry, she took yours. Gotta feel your crowd out though a little bit. Sometimes people <laughs> don't think it's funny. <laughs> or if someone asks for a kind of pop, we don't have. I say, we can ask the pilot to make a pit stop on the way if you want. <laughs> are you ever on the loudspeaker? Yeah. Ooh, oh, does yeah. that make you nervous? Yeah. Do you ever call people out over the loudspeaker? I've been. I haven't. One time I was in a flight and they were like, everybody needs to put their phones away. It was a very small plane. And then she gets back on. She goes, I can see the light on the ceiling from your cell phone. Oh. Please turn it off. That's not cool. I was like, oh, I like it that. wasn't me, but I was like, oh my God. What about when you're doing the flight things and people aren't watching you? Like at the beginning I don't of the care. flight? You don't care? No. When I was little. I used to like very intently just be like, I'm paying attention to you. Literally for the flight attendant. Can't you bring your own alcohol on the plane? It is an FAA regulation and not bring alcohol from outside of the plane onto the plane. <gasps> Are you? If you just don't let anyone see it. Right. Be good at not being caught. Yeah. That's like laws in general. Yeah. We probably shouldn't give you that advice. I don't recommend it. Yeah. Well, no. Shayla, I'm winking. You don't recommend it. I would never do that. Yeah. Okay, let's address the one category of how do you get an upgrade. I don't know a lot about upgrades because the gate agents do that. The only thing I can really say is like if you rack up your miles with one specific airline, they're going to be way more likely to give you an upgrade. Is it annoying? Because for me, the call light is like dialing 911. Mm, I don't need it. I don't need it. Not that serious, but I kind of wish that everyone kind of felt like that. I mean, sometimes it's serious and it's like, I need, I'm gonna get sick. Please don't ring your call light for like your seventh drink. No, we're totally okay with answering call lights. I'm like walking up and down the aisle, just flag me down. Need what if you're giving drinks from, out? Don't do your drink call light. See? We'll get there. What if you already passed me and now you're doing the drinks for the rest of the plane and um, I want a blanket? I mean, I'll get you one. <laughs> have you ever had a really scary moment? Nope. But how long have you been a flight attendant? <clears throat> I've only been a flight attendant since this past summer. So in the winter, it's usually better. In the winter, it's better. Mm -hmm, because in the summer, when it's really hot, the turbulence can get worse. Turbulence is not dangerous whatsoever. I actually compare it to like a dirt road. It's not dangerous to do. It's just bumpy. The only thing that could potentially be dangerous is if you don't have your seatbelt on. Sometimes you'll just be in the bathroom and there'll be like a little turbulence. I'm like, this is it. This is it. My skull's going to get crushed on the ceiling when we do a big dip and I'm just going to... I mean, it's probably not going to happen. 
Well, that's good to know. What kind of benefits will I get if I give you like a little snack in the beginning or like a little something something? I think that you just, the benefit is you know you're a good person with a kind heart. Do you drink the water? Bottled water, yeah. Anything that's not hot water is bottled. Hot water, what we make the coffee with, what you would get tea with or whatever. I try to avoid it. I've just like heard horror stories. Well, sometimes they say that the water is not so great because it's literally coming from all different parts of the world. Yeah, it's true. So I think that. it just depends on like how old the plane is. Cause like, where's the, where's the water sitting? Okay, gross. Somebody want to know if they should go chat with you in the back on a long flight. Okay. What is the safest seat in the plane? The seat closest to the exit row. In case anything bad happens, you can get off the plane right away. I always am like, yeah, I could definitely help in an emergency. But then I'm like reading the side of the door like, holy sh**, if this, if anything happens, I don't know, I'm gonna freak, I'm gonna freak out. Do you ever have anyone in the exit row where you're like, do you think you can handle this? And they're like, yeah, and you're like, okay. Or like, we have to move people sometimes. If someone doesn't speak English, they don't understand our spiel. So they don't know what we're asking them to do. If there are open seats on the plane, can you spread out? Yes. Just wait until the flight attendant makes an announcement about the boarding door being closed. And then it's free reign. If the seatbelt sign is on and we're taxiing, stay in your seat. Somebody asked what the kindest thing you've seen someone else do for another passenger. I love this question because I love this story. Grandma and her granddaughter coming on the plane. Grandma looked a little rough. Grandma got upgraded to first class. I was helping the granddaughter get the bags up in the overhead bin and they were super heavy and she said it's because there's a bunch of medicine in there. And I'm just thinking like whatever the reason they're traveling for probably isn't great. Yeah. She ended up having to go talk to her grandma up in first class for a second and the guy sitting next to the grandma in first class overheard the situation and he was like, oh, I can switch with her. She can sit up here and I'll go to the back of the plane. Row 36, the worst seat on the plane that nobody by wants by the toilet, yeah. for sure. And he's like, I can just sit up here all the time. It's not a big deal for someone to take my spot. So I love spots. People. Oh, I like cried. It restores your faith in humanity. Someone asked if you get sick of being on planes. It's kind of like asking someone if they get sick of being in their office. I would say the only thing is there's just not a lot of room. So I kind of get sick of like being in the way. What is the best part of being a flight attendant? Anytime you are staying over somewhere, you get your own hotel room. I am about that. And the other best part is layover. If you do have a long layover somewhere, you might be in Bozeman, Montana for 30 hours and I can go on a hike. Do you go through security? Nope, I just walk up. We have our own separate little entrance. I have a like fancy schmancy bath. I scan it and then they let me go. Did you do a bunch of background checks and stuff for that? Yes. Yeah. Do you get a parking pass? Mm -hmm. Oh! When you get on the flight, mm -hmm. if your bag is too big, you can't go on the plane. I mean, and you can check it for free at the gate at yes. that point. Sometimes people like put the bag up and you, you see them like try to shut the bin and then like doesn't shut and they're like, oh, we'll figure it out. I can't shut it either. <laughs> I'm a flight attendant, I'm a magician. Okay, so the camera died because I didn't charge the battery all the way. And we turned off the lights, so a lot, a lot has changed. Uh, what I very passionately was saying before that, <laughs> do not put your small bag up top. If you checked everything else, Mm -hmm. And all you're bringing on is a backpack. Technically, each passenger is allowed to put one bag up. Oh, then I've hated a lot of people that I shouldn't have hated. I feel like a flight attendant, and correct me if I'm wrong here, yeah. I've been a waitress before, and so mm -hmm. I feel like a flight attendant does what I did all the time. But then also, like, you're responsible in case something happens. Sky waitress and a safety professional. Oh, that sounds much better. Have exactly. you dealt with anything like I that? have not had any emergencies. Uh, over there. I think that we have most of the things. Do you, what, would you be opposed to having people put more questions. I would love more questions. So maybe for like the next week, if you write a comment below, Callie will go in and respond. But also, I want other flight attendants to respond. Are mm -hmm. you cool with that? Absolutely. I love when there's a conversation in the comments. If you're a flight attendant, share your things that are really annoying or that you love or that this or that if you disagree with Callie and go answer other people's questions. Oh, the other thing that you guys might be wondering. Oh, oh we're doing that. Okay. <laughs> if you're a Minnesotan, a Minnesota As sports fan. We, we are. Oh, so that's sports fan. true. We got a lot of orders from all over the country. So Callie's business is called Fangirl. Game day apparel for women because girls just do not have good options for sporting events. Everything is blingy and pink and kind of tacky. I feel or like. they're drowning in their boyfriend's jersey. Okay, okay so let's a yeah, let's go on our on our knees here. Okay, yeah. So here we are. This is my Vikes. This is the Vikes sweatshirt. crew neck camo. Mm -hmm. This is the Minnesota Wild dad crew neck. To so go check out Callie's store. Fangirlmn.com and Fangirl MN on Instagram. If you're interested in becoming a flight attendant, watch the other flight attendant video with Callie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you guys all so much for watching and we will see, well, I'll see you all next Wednesday. She'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah. Oh, that was good. You feel good about it? What'd you learn, Shay? Wow. Going for sex appeal at the home workout today. Uh.
I mean that I. <laughs> what do you mean? By How close do you want to get sick to my my clothes? Oh. After finding that out like a week and a half ago, I was like, hey. Oh. What's happening? What is it? I'm healing stuff with oil. <laughs> <laughs> Your feet look so <laughs> funny. Yesterday I asked if you guys have any questions about the YouTube course and someone asked. Thanks, Amber. That's the information that Shay, I have. Yeah. I have a question. Okay, Amber. <laughs> Turn it off. Guys, Damn, shoddy. Look at all this makeup. But Thanks. it still is like natural, right? Not as natural as this ass. <laughs>